Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to use the OD command in Linux. So are you ready? Let's get started. So sometimes you need to convert a file from its original format to another format like octal, hexadecimal or decimal format. So for that you can use the OD command. So OD stands for octal dump. It's a built-in command in many Linux or Unix-like operating system. So in order to show you that, let's take an example. So as you can see here, I am on my desktop and I have created a file called readme. It's just a text file, so let's open it and see what is inside. Okay. So as you can see, it's just a simple text file which contains three lines. So please read me. My name is Amine. Today the weather is awesome. So by default, we can use the OD command without any option. So I will just type the OD command. So as I told you, OD stands for octal dump. So it will convert my file here, which is a text file, to an octal format. So I will just provide here the file name, which is readme. And here we go. So this is the octal representation of my file here. So actually you can divide this format here into two main sections. So the first section is the section that is on the left. It contains what we call offset bytes. Okay. And the rest of the section, which is the second section here on the right, it contains the octal representation of our file here. Okay. So first of all, let's just play with this left section which called offset bytes. So by default, the offset bytes are displayed in octal format, but we can of course change that using another option here. So I'll use the same command, but here I'll just add an option minus capital A and just next to it, I can add whatever format I want my offset byte to be in. So as I told you, by default, e, they are displayed in octal format. So O stands for octal. Okay, so if I run this command, the offset byte will be displayed in octal, which is the option by default. So when I execute this command, no change will happen. Okay, so as you can see, no change because I just told the OD command to display the offset byte in octal format which is the default. But let's say that I want to display them in hexadecimal format. Here I'm talking only about the offset bytes. So I will change this O here to X. So X for hexadecimal. So here we go. Now you can see some changes, especially in the last line. So we have changed the format of the octal offset bytes to the hexadecimal format okay i can also display this offset byte to the decimal format so i will just actually replace this x here by d so d stand for decimal and in this time it will change offset bytes into decimal format here we go so you can see this uh, 75 octal representation is in fact 3D in hexadecimal or 61 in decimal. Okay. So in all these examples, we have just converted the offset bytes to the format that we want. Okay. So now let's move on to the other section which is on the right 
which are actually the characters that are in our text file. So first, let me clear that. Here we go. Let me display once again our readme file. Here we go. Now we can play with our file, the main content of our file. So as I told you by default, it will display the content in octal format, which is this one here. Okay. So let's say I want to display the content. So here I'm talking just about the content, not the offset bytes. So if I want to display the content just in hexadecimal format, so I can add here this time without capital E because capital E is just for offset bytes. So I will type just minus X. So minus X will represent my file in hexadecimal format. Okay. Here we go. So this is the hexadecimal representation of my file. I can also display that in decimal format. Here we go. So this is the decimal representation of my file here. And finally, I can display that in character format. So now you can see very clearly our characters in our text file here. Here we go. So you can see each character separated from the other because this is the character format of our file. And you will notice here some character slash N which stands for new line actually. Okay. So I have showed you how you can change the format of the offset bytes and how you can change the format of actually the content of our file but we can combine the two if we want so i will show you that so let's clear that here we go once again i will display the text so you can see it so let's say for example i want to display the offset bytes in hexadecimal so it's pretty easy so if i want to change the offset bytes i will use minus capital a and I want that in hexadecimal format, so I will use the X, okay? And I want also my content in hexadecimal, so minus X, okay? So let's execute that. Here we go. Now you can see that the offset bytes are in hexadecimal and the content is also in hexadecimal. Let's play once again. I want the content this time in character, okay? But I will leave the offset bytes in hexadecimal, so it's pretty easy also. Here we go. So you see the content is or are actually in character format, and offset bytes are still in hexadecimal, okay? One last thing, I can also add other format next to each other. So let's leave the offset bytes in hexadecimal, as you can see here, minus capital A X, so that's for offset bytes. But I want, in addition to the character format, I want to add the hexadecimal format. So I can simply add X here, okay? So let's play that and here we go you can see the character format combine it with hexadecimal format so you can play whatever you want with that just last example I want octal format mixed with hexadecimal format here we go we have all what we want in our hand okay so this is a very very useful actually a command line that you can use if you want to see the content of your file in another format and without using any third-party program just using the OT command which is built in in most unix like operating system so that was just a brief introduction how you can use this beautiful and useful command line utility octal damp as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye